back up just a little bit and then down. There you go. Pull forward a little bit after I get this one off, but it's over. Those are his.
All right, guys, so as you've seen, we were unloading the all the materials for the building. So I ended up just taking it, obviously, I think as you could see, just getting it off the driveway, and then I brought it all up to where the building's gonna be, which is up here. So you have all the eight by eight by 20s here. Here's the three, the three 20 foot headers. All the tin. The, uh, the rafters that get bolted together and all the purl ends are all these two by sixes fascia boards on the front and the sides and then there's all like the, the caps for everything and then I do have a a box that came on a couple a couple boxes came on the pallet that has all the bolts and and you know all the small stuff i have that in the garage so the cardboard doesn't get if it rains doesn't fall apart so everything is up here now everything is up here so and let me tell you those are a little bit heavier than i was anticipating which is good i mean they're eight by eights by 20s but i tell you what i don't know if we captured it on film but all the tin was on one piece strapped together that was a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be unloading. I mean, that was very heavy. It makes the wood seem light. I mean, it's crazy, I guess, when you put, I don't know how many there are, but there's a lot of them. So, very excited. As you've seen in the video so far, uh, Backwoods Buildings and Trust is a company that we went with for the pole building. Now, I've seen them... And one of the other guys I watch from time to time on YouTube, um, he's got four of their buildings. It's uh, the Kelly's Country Life. And uh, he's, he, like I said, he's got four of those buildings and he's had, this is last year, two hurricanes go through and a uh, good sized tornado and all of his buildings are still standing. So, so I reached out to the company about, you know, possibly, this is months back, about purchasing a building from them and we've worked together where I also you know I did buy the the built the kit here and, you know in exchange for some uh, advertising and so on on YouTube which is fine so they cut me a little bit of a deal on it which is which is great but the biggest thing is is since you know the buildings work everything is engineered for the area so they have an engineering company they work with as well I'll have all those links down in the description. So they designed this building for my area, area, the wind load, the snow load, per size that I, I have it built here or going to be built. And I couldn't be happier. Very easy to work with. Uh, they designed it and gave me recommendations and took my advice on certain things. And so far, couldn't be happier with them. Um, so I'm ex needless to say, I'm excited to get this baby built. Um, it's probably going to be a week or two before I get started on it. I still got to, so the kit comes with everything that you need except for the concrete and obviously digging the holes for the post. So, and the equipment to do it, but we'll get all that sorted and figured out. But she's here. I mean, she is here. So I'm, uh, pretty excited to say the least. Just got to measure properly get the holes dug put the post in concrete poured and start putting her together so we'll uh and i'll document and film as we go how it goes how what machines that we use to build it and so on but it's a busy time of year for for us here so it may take us a couple weeks to do i mean we'll probably bang out the post and stuff and all within a, a day or two get the purl ends up and you know and, or not the purl ends but the truss and the headers and then slowly do the roof so the hardest part's obviously doing the post making sure it's square and done right so but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i know the previous one was a little bit shorter but i'll have, like i said i'll have all the links to the company to the engineering people or the company there and uh check them out like i said it's very reasonably priced that's why we went with them we purchased it and it's high quality stuff there's no skimping here and if you want you know they'll make just custom headers and or trusses for you you don't have to buy the whole kit if you're looking to do your own diy project so 
we'll definitely be using them again in the future. I know that for a fact. So, but yeah, check them out. I'd highly recommend it. I'll put their links, in, like I said, in the description, a couple pictures of them as well. Well, let me know what you guys think, but as always, keep burning.